Very well. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. There is something I can tell you about the Leaden Key's operations. Well, let's hear it. I found Theos in Brackenbury Sanitarium impersonating a patient who is trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me. It is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. The Anguithan Tower in Heritage Hill contains an ancient machine that can control the flow of souls. The Leaden Key activated it. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. That isn't enough to take to the Duke. But we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. Well, currently that's all. I have other questions. Yes? Tell me about Dunyar Rowe. All the things there are to know in this world, and you ask me about work. Dear Ward is a rebel country. Conflict is in its blood. If you think a few guards posted in our cities keep chaos at bay, you are very new to town indeed. We are Deerwood Cypher investigators, of course. But what we really are is its last barrier against anarchy. People are more at ease when they believe they are watched over by someone more enlightened than they are. It pacifies them, so that is the image we foster. And we do try to be enlightened for their sake. The knowledge we gather here is Deerwood's standing army in many ways. We learn what's vital and we act on it while Deerwood sleeps, blissfully unaware of the terrifying truths all around them. I wish I could tell people the things I know sometimes. But the truth is, I don't think many of them could bear it. How did you come to be here? Me? I started this place, in a different time, under a different duke. I impressed the duke with my research and my work ethic, and he became possessed of the notion that I would be ideal to lead a secret network of gifted investigators. I don't know how such an idea got into his head. <laughs> oh, but uh, how old are you? She gives a half-hearted mm, gasp and covers her mouth with crumpled fingers. You wicked man. Where are your manners? Were you raised without a shred of decency? I lost count ages ago. Such a strange thing to celebrate. Getting closer to death. Oh, I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. 
There was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. I must have gone soft with age. So, are you a psychic? If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. A tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them, they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. You said you don't know what will happen tomorrow? Who said I was talented? I don't. Least not that I can trust. And with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. What's that? A quiet day at home. Is there a Lord Web? There was. What happened to him? He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. We saw the world very differently, he and I. But he was good to me while he lasted. Well, let's talk about something else. All right, that's it. Try your best not to die out there. Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. All righty then. I guess we need to go to the deer board. Yeah, everything's done. Everything's... Yeah. Keep forgetting that everything is done. And now I'm just waiting for, like, certain quests and stuff to up everybody's experience. Which, in all honesty, I think I might still go ahead and give Edder another... Uh, one of those missions to buff him up. And buff, yeah, buff him up a bit. Okay. Got it. Ah, here we are. So, about your parents. He looks at you curiously, yes. Why was your mother gone so often? She was invited to join a, a Hemneg with a, a land, landed thane when I was very young. His estate was a five day ride from our home in the Sithwood, so that was part of it. The real issue, however, was my father. Uh, despite his initial agreement with the arrangement, father was never happy with it. He would hound and harangue my mother when she was home. He wanted to know whether she was intimate with the Thane. No matter how many times she swore she wasn't, it wasn't. It was never enough. As you can imagine, that led to her coming home much less often, even though she still supported us financially. Okay, here we go. What's a hemneg? A ceremonial, a ceremonial marriage between folk and elf, because the Adirian mainland has a, historically been split between the two races. We have many ins institutions that are designed to normalize relations. Our monarchy is headed by folk, by an elven consort rules, but an elven consort rules alongside the reigning Burkanian or Miswin. This is the most prominent example of Hemneg. In many cases, a Hemneg allows two households to pool resources among the aristocracy Hemnegs cons uh, consolidate power. Sometimes, as in my mother's case, a hemneg is a means for a noble to add another administration, uh, administrator to his or her household. 
consorts are received with almost the same level of respect as their noble counterparts, which can be extremely useful. Of course, hemnegs are sometimes used to sanitize an ext extramarital affair. Drugs. I don't know what that. I don't know that it's really any better, but it's, it seems to satisfy common notions of decency. And elf and folk unions are sterile, which no doubt eases some concerns. Ah, sounded like your father had problems with his temper. He had a problem with my and my mother's hemneg. Even though they agreed upon it, it long ago, the financial benefits would be considerable. That was mm, that it was little different from his role as the Earl's steward. It ate at him, and so he drank and raged. When she was mm, when she was home, he raged at her, and when she wasn't, he raged at me. And more than anything, he wanted me to become an arcane knight in the service of his Earl. I think he felt this would validate his chosen career and master. He was a firm man, as you saw, but in the end, I became a successful wizard, due in no small part to his mm, strictness. Nonsense. You accomplished that on your own, and you, and you would have been fine without him pu pushing you. Are you so certain? I did not know what I wanted uh, from my life then. I surely wouldn't have been so focused without a little direction. That's all I really want to know. Uh, he looked he looks relieved. Very well. Mm, so now you understand a little more about uh, Iselmir. He wrinkles his no thanks to that animancer. My spleen? Black bile? Come on. Uh, um, LSH's methods are flawed, but you still learned something, didn't you? Only because you and I have a lick of good sense between us, but the average person show them a, a shiny gadget in the hands of an expert and they'll believe anything. I don't know. I think you'd be more pleasant without your spleen. He sneers. Oh, hilarious. We should have her take a look at you. I wonder what she'd like to remove then. <laughs> well, why did you want to take Vel oh, Velisage's notes? He gives you a sidelong glance. Like I said, I didn't appreciate her prying. Hey. Need something? Okay. Well, there's that. Time to carry on. Back to Deerford. Only a 12 hour, 12 hour uh, stride. Okay. All right, I finally reached Deerforge. Uh, the Airford Village, it's a sleepy little backwater, but there's got to be someone here who's familiar with the ruins. I think about, I think I talked about this stuff, but I think, I, but at the same time, I believe I went through it a little bit too quickly. Oh, oh, sit. No. Gods keep you. Mm. Uh, why it's you. Thank you, friend. You've given me another chance, and I mean to make the most of it. I've been telling everyone around here about how you helped me. Mm, Dear Forge, minor positive. That's always good.
So maybe in here. Uh, I suppose you can show me what's for sale real quick. Oh, by the way, do I happen to have anything for sale? Interesting. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Um. Oh, yes, I do have some, uh, some stuff. Uh, that's exceptional, exceptional. I want to hold on to exceptional stuff. As a just in case. Oh, wait, no, give me that look back. Uh, what are you? Only usable by a ranger. Huh. Um, I don't really use that. I'm gonna hold, I'll hold on to it though. But, um, I think that's it. And boom. Done. A simple test. You know, sat in my private quarters. That goes for you and Aaron's boot flickers. Okay. Gods keep you. Ah, you know anything about uh, an Ingwithan ruin nearby? Hard to throw a stone in the wilds without knocking over someone's sacred Adra pillars. Smart travelers avoid them. But if you're really set on sightseeing, Bodmir Amar could point you in the right direction. He keeps up the little temple in the northwestern edge of town. Oh. Hail and well met. Thank you. Show me your wares. Uh, do you have any ingredients? Oh, yes, you do. Um, I won't find it. Oh, not yet. Anyway. Northwestern's over here. Do 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 do. Ah. Out with you! I already told you what. I'm sorry. I thought you were one of those ruffians. These times we live in. How may I help you? What happened to you? I never saw their faces. Strange hooded men asking about those ruins. Cleoban Relog. Most of the brigands who come through here asking about the ruins are looking for a few ancient trinkets. But these people knew the name, and they were in a hurry. They wanted to know where Cleoban Relog was. I tried to keep it from them, but I couldn't hold out forever. I don't know what they were up to. But it can't be good. That does sound like the leaden key, doesn't it? The old priest nods politely. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, can you tell me where to 
Uh, find the ruins. The Glanfarthen tribe that guards the ruins will kill anyone who trespasses there. And they'll retaliate against us too, if history is any indication. We've had too many fortune seekers stir up trouble of late. If I'm to tell you, I'll need to know your reason for wanting to go. A dangerous plot is unfolding there. I, I, I've got to stop it. If that's the case, then we may already have trouble headed our way. I'll have to take you at your word. You'll find Cleobarn Relog here. Whatever trouble you find there, please end it quietly and try to stay out of the ruins. Uh, tell me about Deerford. Folk here tend to keep to themselves as they do in most towns uh, this deep in the Deerwood. They're suspicion, uh, spe <laughs> they're suspicious of travelers, but they will all. Mm, uh, uh, but with all the brigands and refugees moving around the area, who can blame them? People in town say that the Hollowborn problem has been especially bad here. It has. Cities and villages all over the Deerwood have been have seen Hollowborn. But Deerford hasn't seen the birth of an unaffected child in years. Most of our people have moved on to other villages in search of hope. And those who have stayed behind aren't the same. Children promise a, fu mm, children promise a future, you know. People change when you take that away from them. This is the Temple of Barath. What can you tell me about Barath? Well, Barath is of the most... Yeah, Barath is the most uh, universal of all the gods. It, is, it oversees portals and cycles of all kinds, even life and death itself. Under Barath, an ending is merely a passage to another beginning. Barath has many representations across time and across cultures. Around the Deerwood, you'll com commonly... Uh, see it depicted as the Pallet of Night or the Usher. The Glenfathens, however, know it as mm, Bunen. Uh, Bunen I in Q and in Q I Bunen. Tell me about the, the Pallet Knight. And she's one of the youngest manifestations of Barath, but a familiar one nonetheless. Stories describe her as a gaunt knight in black armor with black eyes, black hair, and milk pale skin. She demands impossible toll from travelers who have arrived too long on her uh, lord's road. Some challenge her only to slay themselves in the process. Who is the usher? Uh, Kith have written stories, songs, and poems about the usher for centuries. Sometimes he's his folk, sometimes dwarf, and sometimes merely a, a walking skeleton. He never speaks, but he guides the way to death. In the next life, he also creates the circumstances for the wayward to stumble into their own graves. I've never heard of a Bunin I in Q and an in Q I Binen. It means life and death and death and life, respectively. You see them as two skeletal figures, one male and one female. Explorers have found them carved opposite one another in doorways, but I but I know of no particular legends that speaks to them. Thanks for the information. Okay. Uh, won't show me where to find Gliban Rilig, but he warned me to steer clear of the Glanfathen tribes guarding the ruin. Okay. Ah, okay. So I need to go upwards a bit more. Um, but I suppose I should go... Oh, no, I need to go to uh, Deerford Crossing. Um, something I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and come over to here rest up, and then travel over to that direction. Yeah. I must say, I'm impressed. Yep, now you're impressed. Before, you were always complaining about... Before, you were always complaining about... Um... Whether or not if we were going to sleep here. Now guess what? We are! Because, you know.
Ah, hello, log. Oh my. Um, what do you do? Uh, over my... Okay, grants overwhelming wave when hit by a critical hit. Oh. Then you are re uh red weed red reed one. What? Interesting. Oh, wait. Plus 12 accuracy on this thing? And then there's six... Charges? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and save it real quick. Don't worry, I'm not ending the stream. Because I need to go to the restroom, guys. This would be a great time for you if you need to go to the, take a little bit of a break, breather. Uh, you got something to snack, eat, take, just take a, a little bit of a break yourself, guys. I will be gone for the little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pop on some... I am going to pop on some uh, ads. While I'm gone, so I'll probably be gone for the next three to five minutes. We'll see. So uh, this would be a great time to take a little break. So be right back.
Let's do this, guys. Okay. <sighs> Gela, well done. A formidable fortress in the old style. We don't build them like this anymore, you know. Not by. Nope. Oh, we got a rest. Um, I I always go for might. So boom. Uh, Sagani uh, saunters over to you, stretching her legs. Uh, uh, stretching her legs. She holds a pouch of deer jerky in one hand, and she offers it as she takes a, s a seat across from you. Itamak looks, uh, looks on hungrily. Long day. She bends on one arm behind her ear, reaching another, reaching until her, until you hear a pop. Just wanted to see how you were holding up. Seem to have a lot of long nights. Well, the leaden key hasn't assassinated me, assassinated me yet, so I guess I can't complain. The bright side to everything, isn't there? Mm, she folds her arms over mm, her knees. Look, it's been a while since I had a hunting party, but we're in this together now, and even if we're hunting for different things, we're still hunting together. She takes a hunk of dried meat from her pouch and bites on a long uh, no, on a long strip from it. Itamont looks, mm, licks his lips, and she tosses him the rest. I don't understand exactly what's happening to you, but I'll find you. Mm, I'll help you find Theos, same as you're doing for me. 